Hey guys, welcome to Jaywalk Media. This is Matt Miller and watch Candace Owens go on Dr. Phil's show and absolutely destroy these woke experts who try to tell her that affirmative action has helped the black community. Check it out right here. When you artificially place a black American into a school in which they do not belong based on their knowledge, doesn't mean that they go on to get A's. In fact, there was a black adjunct professor, you guys have definitely heard of him, Dr. Thomas Sowell, uh, who was teaching at Cornell University and he found that the majority of the black American students that were there were on academic probation. Now, these students were some of the smartest in the nation, but because they were artificially placed amongst their peers at Cornell University, they were failing on academic probation. These policies have never helped black Americans. It's just basically policies that are put in place to make people feel good, right? I feel like I'm doing something when in fact I'm actually creating harm. You either know the answers or you don't. When you say, hey, we have black students at a particular school who aren't performing at that school as well, the immediate assumption that you're making is, well, maybe it's because they're not smart enough, they're, they're not good enough, or they don't belong here. Whereas it could be about the experience that they're having at that institution. Professors who believe that they're not intelligent enough, that they don't have the capability to do the work, that they see them as criminals, deviants, dangerous, up to no good, or they talk about them with the they statements. They're lazy. They don't care. They don't really belong here. Uh, you're, they're you're only here for the financial be, I'm giving you actual facts. No, right? I'm giving so you can, actual facts based upon extensive research. You can say, well, maybe they just don't feel done. good, um, but that's not the case. I mean, I went, I went to university. I did not feel good, right? I, I didn't pull the best grades in high school, probably got into a better university than I should have gotten into based on my performance in high school. It wasn't because of my feelings. It's because I wasn't focused on it. And that we're talking about a cultural problem, what's going on back at home, as was in my circumstance. And none of that is because of institutionalized policy. Um, it almost seems like you guys refuse to accept that you know, black students aren't performing well, you feel like you have to have this burden of responsibility when in fact, if you actually wanted to help, you would look at the facts, re-examine the fact that it's not helping anybody, it's not helping black Americans to artificially place them into universities and you'd make effective change. But you're making the assumption that black students are academically inferior and they're not. No, they're you some are of our actually, most like, that's, brilliant that's what, that's students the, that's that we the have. Basic, no, 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 that you are making the assumption that they are inferior. You just said that they don't belong there. Policies <laughs> I'm talking about the students that are based on the policies that you are defending right now, saying that we should have these policies that let them into these universities, not based on their skill set, but based on the color of their skin. So you are assuming that they are inferior. Well, Candace is absolutely right when she says that affirmative action has hurt the communities that it's been seeking to help. And that's been the real result of these left wing ideas, these left wing theories of how to force equality in society. The idea behind affirmative action is basically that you're going to forcibly rise people up into better colleges, better job positions uh, that are from these marginalized groups, whether or not they're actually qualified for those roles. Um, and you're inevitably going to have to suppress certain people from other non-marginalized groups or people who are um, viewed to be from non-marginalized groups. You're going to have to suppress their rate of entry into these roles despite their qualifications for them. So this creates a massive problem because what you do is you have people in positions where they don't necessarily belong just because of this theory of forced equality. And you also are, you're basically becoming the evil that you're trying to combat because now you are suppressing and oppressing groups based on uh, superficial demographic things like their race, ethnicity. I mean, that's what all this was supposed to be combating against, right? Is that we don't want racial discrimination in this country. The only way to actually achieve that is to create a situation where the game is equal opportunity. And, uh, and that means that everybody, no matter what their background is, has the opportunity to compete fairly and has an equal opportunity of entry into these roles. But it ultimately has to be a meritocracy. It has to be only the people who are actually qualified, that worked hard and that achieved and acquired the skills that are, is needed to get to these roles. Those should be the only people that actually make it there. So we can't force equality. The liberals and the people on the left and that sort of thinking, they just, they never are gonna understand that. That's what they tried with communism in the 20th century. All these communist uh, dictatorships, I mean, at, at the time they weren't, they didn't uh, view themselves as dictatorships, but communist dictatorships ultimately became dictatorships because they were forcing economic equality on people. And this created massive famines, massive socioeconomic dysfunction 
that led to death, that led to starvation, that led to all kinds of uh, turmoil. And the Soviet Union collapsed. China is not really a place that I would want to live because I don't think there's a lot of individual personal freedom there. Um, and also places like North Korea, places like Cuba that have all kinds of food shortages and have no individual rights whatsoever. Uh, that's what you get with this worship of forced equality. Let me know what you guys thought of this video in the comments. Do you think Candace did a good job on Dr. Phil? Um, if you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Ring the notification bell so you get notified when we post new content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.